Hi there, everyone. This is Dr. Gwen with Dr. Gwen International Training Empowerment Academy and host of the I Can Show, the Dr. Gwen Show. Today is day five of our series, How Can You Have It All? Now, all of this week, we've been talking about a lot of topics. There are so many things that we were able to cover this week. And I just want to review as I wait for some of my friends to join me here today. Now, the first thing I want to review is the fact that when you are going to discover and have what you want in life, it's important for you to know what you are about. That is the number one key. There is no way you can have it all if you are randomly over the place, all over the place. So the first thing you have to do is to really cue in and understand what is your main mission, what is your key passion, and then make your choices around that. We also talked about identifying what you're currently committed to and getting rid of some of the things that don't align with who you are. It's completely impossible for you to be just all over the place. So it's important that you focus. Then we talked about you cleaning house. You have to decommit. We also discussed a lot of things about you being aware, you creating who you are, and inside of that, there is this notion of limitedlessness or of being limited. And this is what stops a lot of people because they have put their own limitations on who they are and what they feel they're able to accomplish. So it's really important that you understand this principle and not just understand it, but try very hard and try is not a word in my vocabulary that I need to be using, but you are going to work to transform your thoughts, to understand that when you're planning your goals, you're doing that without limitations. Just think completely outside of the box, not thinking about your own constraints, because today we are going to talk about the network. And I did also say earlier that you cannot build a massive dream all alone. You are going to need a network. So we'll talk about that today. We covered a lot of things about your conscious mind, your subconscious mind. Go back and review those videos. But the one thing I want to bring to your attention again before we begin to talk about the network is this model. The ACT success model. And this is a model that I created to help people to understand what the processes are that they need to achieve as they work towards breakthrough performance and greatness. So it's very important that you become aware. You must be aware of exactly who you are. Now that's not as easy to say uh, or to do as I am saying it. However, there are strategies that can help you to become much more aware of who you really are and to live in that awareness. As I've said on the previous videos, I am not about to drop any links on here. That is not the whole process and the idea behind what I'm doing. If you need resources to help you to discover that whole awareness piece, then you will need to private message me and I will be sure to send you that without any strings attached. The other thing is that creation. And everything starts mentally in your mind. And that comes without limitation. So now we're in the transformation phase. And yesterday we talked about the household with kids. How do you do it all? You're going to have to go back and watch that video 
if you want to learn some of the really great tips that were given that helped me survive those years and still kept moving forward in progression towards what I was working on. So today we come to talk about the network. Before we talk about the network, here is this other model displayed on a chart. And most people are here, they're at the dreamer phase where they just dream about the things. They may be passionate about something, but the passion they are passionate about doesn't spur them into action. They don't take action. They just continuously think about what they want and they don't create and they don't get out and create and make things happen. So that's what we're going to look at today. We did look at that somewhat yesterday and you want to be at the breakthrough level of performance. So talking about the network, your kids and your family are a part of that network. We covered that yesterday, but today, what I'm mainly going to talk about is how really do you get a network on board? Now, I'm not gonna tell you where you can find people to support you. I believe you're able to do that on your own, and I did mention in one of the earlier lessons how that can be done. But how do you get the people to really buy into what you have and to buy into your dreams. That's going to first of all require that you are very clear about what you want to communicate. That clarity. So you must have your passions and you must have a vision that you want to communicate with the people who are involved that you're going to ask to help you to be involved. Because after all, you can't bring someone on board to support you if you are fuzzy about what you are about. So if that person is your spouse, or if that person is a friend, or if it is a neighbor or someone else, perhaps you're gonna need someone maybe to help you watch the kids as you do certain things. Perhaps in the fulfillment of this huge goal that you are about, this huge mission that you want to put out into the world to transform lives, Maybe you're going to need people to help you to move you along that level of progression. That's probably what that's going to be. And whichever way it is, if it's your family or it's your neighbor or friend or someone else, you are going to need to be clear about what this is that you want. So having clarity about goal, then you're going to have to communicate your desire. Now, today I'm going to share with you a conversation structure that's going to help you to know just how to communicate to get what you want. Now, it works a lot of times, personally for me, in my life, not necessarily 100% of the times, but it's working a lot better than I used to get results when I didn't incorporate this strategy in my life. So what is the language that you're going to have to use that's going to help you? Now, Dale Carnegie has a principle that says you should always speak in terms of the other person's interest. So if you're having a conversation, if you meet someone for the first time, for example, or as in this case, if you're going to have someone pitch in and help you with your vision and your dream, you must first know what the interest of that person is. In other words, what are their desires? What do they want for themselves? So you're gonna create a context for the background of the conversation when you get into this discussion. So here's how you would do this. Let's say you have a mission to fulfill on a project for a nonprofit organization maybe that you have created, right? And you've created this nonprofit organization and you want to fulfill on a mission, a mission, let's say, for single homeless moms. That's one of my passions here, working with homeless moms so that they are able 
to achieve the things that they need to achieve to build that mindset, build everything that they need to get to where they want to get to, which is that state of self-sufficiency. So let's imagine that that is what you're about. So you would create a context for the conversation. If I'm approaching someone about this, I would say, hello, I see the love bubbles. Thank you for joining. I really appreciate that. So what you want to do is to make certain that you're creating a context for that conversation. So you're going to say, hey, you know what? You remember this project that I have or this nonprofit organization that is working to provide self-sufficiency for single homeless mothers. Hey, James. Nice having you. So you want to make certain that you are creating that context so people can cue in to hear what you have to say. Because if you don't do that, what's going to happen is that their, their minds will be all over the place trying to figure out what you're about to say instead of joining you and listening intently to what you have to say. So when you create the context for the conversation, then the next thing you want to do is you're going to explain the benefits. So I am working with the single homeless moms. You understand that these boys, especially the boys that are preteens, when their moms become homeless, a lot of times they get separated from their mothers because they, they can't go to the homeless shelters with their mom because they are too old. And then now they can't go to the men's shelter because they're too young. So a lot of times they end up couch hopping. So that is the, the, the benefit that I'm saying. And so now this project that I am working on is going to help to put moms and their boys, their preteen boys together. So now see how I did that? What I did first was I created the, the content for the conversation so they, that they can cue in to hear me. Now I'm saying, well, this is what I'm doing. I'm providing the benefits for these mothers and their, and their young boys so that they can come together and we can eliminate a lot of issues on the streets if these boys are rejoined with their moms. So this is a benefit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm never going to make the benefit about me. So if you have a goal, for example, that you want to achieve, and let's say you want to take on a project and you need someone to babysit your kids, unless it's someone who is deeply vested in you and your personal goals, you can't just say, well, I need you to babysit the kids so that I can go take care of this. You're going to be willing or you have to be willing to give something up. Hello, Lele, my niece. <laughs> How are you, sugar? Good to see you. And so you're going to have to make sure that you are actually giving up something or you're speaking to that person's interest. Remember what I said? Dale Carney says, always speak in favor of the other person's interest. So what are they interested in? Maybe it could be that they like to go see movies once a week and you can exchange that, you know, and you know, when you do this, I will be so delighted to give you a, a couple tickets that I have for a movie or whatever it is. In the case of my scenario with my nonprofit, maybe I'm speaking to a business owner who wants publicity and I can say something like, you know, so when you support my mission, what I will be glad to do is to bring publicity to your business. See how it's playing off of one another? So when you want a network to support you, always be thinking, as Dale Carnegie says, in the interest of the other person. What can you provide for the other person? Now, today's not a long call. It's not going to be a long live cast as the others. However, it's very important. It's very key. So now when you've done that, you've tied it into a win-win situation for both you and the other person. And now you're going to make your request. And be, be open. I used to be so incredibly attached to whatever results showed up. 
I would ask, and then asking from that perspective of being so attached, people would sense my urgency or sense my desperation, you know? And that level of desperation only repels people. You have to be just about calm and peaceful about it. And I know even in network marketing, for example, and this is not about network marketing, but if you're if you're approaching someone about something, you just really have to be, I don't want to say necessarily laissez affair, but you want to make sure that you are not so vested in it because they can feel that tension. You know, just make it like a mention to their benefit and you'll be amazed at the results that you get. And if they say no, it's not a big deal. Don't get yourself all tied up in a wad because somebody says no to your request. So you're gonna make that request and then just remain open to see exactly what happens. And then you also want to follow up. In going to the end of this conversation, I want you to remember this one thing, that anything, the reason why a lot of people are not successful in life, and the reason why they don't achieve their dreams and their goals and the big things that they set out to achieve is because they lack commitment. They lack integrity. See, commitment goes something like this. Commitment and integrity in my world go hand in hand. Because if you are committed to something, and if you remain in integrity, then no matter how you're feeling that day, whether you feel like it or not, you will get up and go do it. Let me tell you something. Exercising, working out is not my first love. I can tell you this. And I had actually quit working out because I didn't like the pain and I didn't enjoy it. And I would do it when I feel like, and boy, if I woke up this morning and I felt like something else was more important, I am going to skip that workout. But you know, over the last maybe four months or five months now, I made a commitment that I was going to treat my workout the way I treat other things in life that I, that I do well. And so I had to go in here and create what I wanted. I wanted to be healthy and fit. And I, when I put on my clothes, I didn't want to see any unnecessary bulges. <laughs> so I created that, right? Who I want to be. And then I set up my structure and my goals to make it happen. Now, do you feel like Five months later, do you think I get up every single day going, wow, I get to work out? No, I don't. <laughs> In fact, this morning and from time to time, I have to really watch it. Because this morning that thought came, oh man, I could really just meditate here for a longer time. And I could probably skip that workout today. And I cued in to that thought, see, because I'm aware, and I said, oh, no, because I know the moment I skip it, the next time it's going to be easier to skip it. Now, if you want to have it all, that's exactly what you're going to need to cue into. That voice, that thought, that thing that shows up ever so often to throw you off your game, it's going to show up. So just prepare for it. And even in the moment you won't feel like you want to do it, you really won't feel like you want to get up and go do whatever it is, but get up anyway. Drag yourself, because once you start doing it, you start feeling better that you committed to doing it. And you know what? It gives you awesome power, because you just did something you didn't want to do, and then the next time, it becomes so much easier. That's really what it takes to get to breakthrough performer. If you want to be a breakthrough top performer, if you want to have it all, those are some things that you need to put in place. So let me scroll down and see if there are any questions. I don't see any. And we have been going for almost 20 minutes, which is a little shorter than usual, which is perfect. 
You know, in wrapping it all up today, what I want to do is to just summarize what we talked about for this entire week. So on day one, we actually talked about you creating clarity. You cannot move forward unless you are clear. Know your passions. Know what you're about. Once you know what you're about, look at everything that you have already committed to doing and align them with your passions. You will not be happy. You will not be fulfilled. You won't feel free and radiant in your life unless you're aligning your life. You are tired, you're frazzled, you're burnt out because you're all over the place. You need to focus in and stop the madness. Once you discover the things that you are passionate about, that you're on a mission about, clean house. Go in and take them off of your plate. Take it off of your plate. I'm telling you, I have most amazing happy life as I said not because I am fulfilled with every single goal in my life because I'm not but I'm happy because I am following my passions every single day and the things that I say yes to are the things that align to what I'm doing and if they don't align I don't even have to think twice about it I just say no. So once you clean house, then the next thing is you're going to really need to get in there and figure out here. This is your limit. Everything you've ever been taught all of your life that you've listened to, that you have read in books, that you have gone to see other people experience, all of that is sitting in your subconscious mind. Remember this chart? This is your conscious mind. Only 1 to 10%. This is your subconscious mind. Look at that boulder. All of your life is ruled by this subconscious mind. If you don't get to a place where you are aware of what's going on there, you're going to fight a continuously losing battle. So you must be aware of what is going on in that subconscious mind and intercept it. Basically, you are powerful, you are limitless, and you have to believe that. You must come to a place where you believe that deep in the core of yourself to have it all. So once you are creating, we talked about how you're going to set up those goals, right? You're going to set them up so that they are smart, they are specific, they are measurable, they are action-oriented, they are relevant to your dreams and mission, and they are time bound. And I said, if you need any resource, I'm not going to put links on here because I'm not trying to get anybody anywhere but understanding what is important for them to fulfill fully. So if you want the resources, just send me a private message and I will send the resources to you. Thank you for the love bubbles. Okay. So then the next thing is you are going to have to coordinate. I told you about the ultradian rhythm, right? Remember that? 90 to 180 minute cycles. Your body goes through that cycle. And what the scientists have said is that if you work for 90 minutes, take a 50, 20 minute break, a nap or something, because it helps your body to relax and to revive so you're more productive. When you push yourself to the limits, you are not as productive. And then your, your stress level goes up and all of that happens inside of you. And you end up being counterproductive to what you want to achieve. We talked about your meta programs. Wow, those meta programs. You're going to have to go back and watch those other videos. Then we also talked yesterday about the children in the household, like setting them upon a schedule so that it's not massive struggle for you. They are monitoring the things that you have helped them to set up so that you can be free to do the big things that's going to move your life and their lives. And today, we talked about communicating 
and that structure for communicating, that's going to get you what you want. So those are the main highlights. And I'm going to check one more time just to make sure that I don't have any questions and I don't see any questions. But listen, I know some of you watch this after the fact. Feel free to comment when you have watched it. Feel free to send me a message. And if you would like, hey there, Sin, great to see you. I'm just about wrapping it up. But if you would like to have a free 30-minute discovery session with me, I'm not going to put you on a list. I have nothing to sell you. As a matter of fact, yesterday I even guaranteed that I'll give you $100 if I try to sell you anything because that's not the whole idea of this. This is to empower you to live a powerful life. That's my goal here. So if you want that session, just reach out to me and we can arrange for a call or you know some other means to communicate to get you over whatever hurdle or hump that you have. But once again, I am extremely delighted that you were able to join me this week. I'm on a 30-day mission actually, so I'll be back on Monday, but Monday what I will be doing is just mainly tips and ideas to help you live the most powerful, free-flowing, limitless life that you ever dreamed possible. How does that sound? Doesn't that sound amazing? So if you can come back on Monday, it'll be probably 5-10 minutes every day from then on. And I don't know what topic I'm going to talk about. I just wait for the download. When I get the download, then I open my mouth. So sometimes download doesn't even come until minutes before the call, see? I don't know, minutes before the live cast. I don't know why I keep saying call, but I don't know what I'm going to talk about when I wake up in the morning. But somehow when I get that download, it is perfect. It all just fits in place. So thank you for joining me and you have the most amazing weekend. I posted something on my page that will take you into the weekend. Feel free to comment, feel free to like, and more than anything else, feel free to share this video with whoever you think may need it to empower and to bolster their lives. And I love you all. Take care. Have a fantastic weekend.